In the summer of 1957, French journalists published a story that happened to a resident of the French city of Arles. Mireille, that was the name of the nurse, she was a responsible, qualified medical nurse and many people called her as a nurse, caring for children. In this small town, she was known as a calm and balanced woman. Therefore, everything she told seemed implausible and creepy. In July of that year, at noon, the nurse Madame Mireille Genet went to the house where the cotillions lived, and where she was invited by young parents to look after their recently born child. Taking the baby, the nurse Mireille went for a walk in the city park, surrounded by greenery. On this day, the weather was hot and most of the residents of the town spent their time near the cool river and there was practically no one in the park. Baby Cotillion was sleeping sweetly in the stroller, and the nurse sank under a tree in the shade. Suddenly, darkness suddenly fell. The baby, feeling alarmed, woke up and cried loudly. The nurse grabbed the child out of fear and began to hold him tightly to her, trying to calm him down. Everything was shrouded in darkness and ringing wilderness. All sounds and smells seemed to have disappeared. The nurse seemed petrified with fear. It seemed to her that this state did not last very long. Also, suddenly, the darkness disappeared. A woman with a child rushed to the Cotillion house. There she was met by the tearful parents of the baby. As it turned out, the baby and the nurse were absent for three days. The parents did not know what to think, searching the city park and the surrounding area together with the police, and finding no one. In the police, the nurse was subjected to a biased interrogation, where was she absent all these days? But she couldn't tell anything except about the darkness. This incident is still the most unusual and inexplicable phenomenon of the last century. But this case of mysterious darkness is not an isolated one. This is how the residents of London described this strange supernatural phenomenon in 1904. People who were at Wimbledon station suddenly found themselves in pitch darkness, which seemed to them hellish. She fell suddenly, like an instantaneous blow, and not a single sound was heard. People seemed to have gone deaf. The horror that fell on the Londoners shackled all their movements and they froze in anticipation of something terrible. Some tried to scream, but the screams hung in the eerie silence. But the strange and terrible darkness disappeared as suddenly as it came. Everyone rushed to the exit from the demonic station, and only the subway workers remained in place, waiting with horror for a repeat of this event. There are also similar cases with the onset of sudden darkness, but scientists to this day cannot explain and reproduce this phenomenon. A similar case occurred in the 70s of the 20th century with several climbers in Tajikistan. It was warm and sunny, the climbers set up a tent. Suddenly it was completely dark and the neighborhood became very quiet and nothing could be seen. They clutched hands, afraid to get lost in the dark. According to them, this phenomenon lasted about five minutes. When the darkness receded, they were blinded by bright sunlight, after which the climbers went to the camp, where they were met by the remaining comrades, and as it turned out, the climbers were absent for almost two days. On March 7, 1911, at about 16 o'clock, a thick, absolutely impenetrable darkness descended on the town of Louisville, Kentucky, USA, which lasted for about an hour. During this time, paintings worthy of Dante's pen took place on the streets of the city. Later, numerous witnesses described in detail all the details of the event. It's a pity that it was impossible to photograph it. There is still no answer to the question about the nature of this sudden darkness. There are also those who claim that this is the work of Satan, or vice versa, a sign of God. There are both more and less rational versions, but science is still unable to explain this mysterious phenomenon. Maybe we are dealing with a violation of the integrity of space, or with the interpenetration of different dimensions, or maybe this phenomenon is associated with fluctuations in the electromagnetic field of the Earth, when the visible part of the spectrum suddenly changes the frequency of vibrations for some reason and goes into a state that human senses are unable to register. Who knows?